taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste. Hey, folks, welcome to T-A-S-T-E, Buds. How's it going? It's going, you know, great. Good. <laughs> How's it going with you? Terrible. Yeah. Terrible, terrible week, but, uh, you know, we're here to talk about food, not not uh, problems. This isn't the uh, Mark Marin podcast. It could be. We're not going to get into the heavy stuff. The, uh, he gets heavy. Did you ever do this show? No. I did it once. It was really f- fun. It's weird to say it was fun, because it was. It was enjoyable, but he, he is, really has a real conversation with it. It's nice. Is he? St- that's still going strong, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, it used to be so huge. He just and- interviewed Ice Cube. Cube? Yeah. Remember you had Obama on? Yeah, that's why I was so <laughs> sh- surprised that you were so shocked about Ice Cube. I was like, For didn't s- he have the president? <laughs> For some reason, Q- Ice Cube was like a... like a Crazy get in your opinion? Yeah, because like Marin, um, you know, he was always like a socio-political type comic. And he, you know, he was on Air America... So he did like political radio and stuff like that. So like him interviewing a president is is a huge deal. But right. but it made more sense. And but he's also a big music fan too. But like the juxtaposition of Ice Cube and Mark Maron is yeah, yeah. was a little more like whoa, that's crazy. Hey, remember like it used to be like Rogan and Maron were the two biggest podcasts, and now like I still hear about Rogan, but I don't hear in general conversation about the WTF anymore. That could just be me though. I was wondering myself if he. Um, if he was, st- if he still did it or not, um, because he also like, he does so much acting. Does he? Yeah, I know yeah, he has his own show, but like, he's in so much stuff, man, all the time. Uh, and then he tours, still doing stand up. So I was like, I wonder if he still does the podcast. But then I was like, Yeah, I guess he still does it. Like, he had to make some bank off this thing, though. No? I think it was. I mean, isn't this? Isn't WTF the podcast? Like, isn't like isn't that the one that kind of started it all as far as like money and podcasting goes? Like real money, I mean. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but it was one of the bigger ones besides Rogan. It's definitely Mount Rushmore. He's yeah, like ten best yeah. guests in there for nine best guests. Well, did he? Scroll. He did WTF break before Rogan did, because Rogan did it for a while, Rogan man. Was doing it like forever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's uh, doing it like at a desk. Um, wow, they Jenny Slate makes the top nine, huh? Judy uh, Green. No, no, I'm just because I'm. It's the president. It's you know, like yeah. I'm just saying, you know, Robin Williams. You know, so I was doing the slate at Jenny Slate. Just, but look just, at the the bottom. The, bottom, the last, last one on this list is Judy Greer. That's a weird. That's, I mean, I respect the Judy Greer. That's just a weird. You're not expecting to see that on the. You know, like. Like you said, it's the president. Who is she? She's an actress. Uh, she was in a. She's in the new Halloween movie. She plays the daughter in the new Halloween okay. movies. She's in a lot of stuff. Oh, I know who she is. Oh, I didn't know that was her name. Um, that's just an interesting, you know. I'm oh not, wow, I had no idea that was her name. Not okay. knocking. Uh, I'm not knocking Greer. I'm just. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing? Good. I had a crazy experience. Uh, um, I was on the road this weekend. I was driving to the Denver airport after my show to do to catch a red eye, and I was on that stretch, like just before you get to the stretch with the horse on it, mm-hmm. that blue uh, Bronco, whatever the hell it is, that demonic blue Bronco with the glowing eyes. <laughs> it, it, it's yeah. like a it's like a twenty ton statue that the sculptor it fell on him. And he died while he was making it. Oh, I didn't know it's that. Haunted. Oh wow. That's not the crazy part. I was on the expressway and we're driving and it's I have the runner and I have Chris Johnson with me. And we're in the car and we're like 10 minutes from 15 minutes from the airport, 10 minutes, and we hear a pop. No, we hear like a, a, a knock. And I thought we rolled over something on the expressway. And then we heard it again. I'm like, maybe it's caught underneath. Uh-huh. And then Chris at the same time thought we were backfiring out of the car. And uh and then it happened again and again and again. I go. Something just came loose under this car. We're going 80 miles an hour. Like, we have to pull over. Like, this is going to be, this could be bad. And then the guy was like, what do you think that is? He goes, oh, that's not you guys banging on the thing? I, we go, no. We look to our left, to our right. So we're in the left lane. There's a middle lane and a right lane. There's no one in between us in the middle lane. And in the right lane is a car driving. 
and this guy has his hand out the window and is firing a gun into the air wow. on the expressway. And it, it, it affected us such that we felt the car, our car, like, like something hit our car. Like, I guess the, I don't know how that's possible from a handgun to go across two lanes. And, and we felt like it was knocking underneath our car. We all felt it. We felt every, with every pop, we felt our car vibrate. Jesus Christ. It was wild. And so. This so, is Detroit? This is Denver. And then it, oh, Chris Denver. looks, he goes, holy shit. And the guy, you see like the, the, fl- the flames, but like this, the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, going out right of his gun. And he just sh- emptied a whole clip like this. If he would have went like, it was like this. If he would have went like this, we could have got hit with a bullet. Wow. Straight bullet. And then right as that's happening, a truck, big semi truck, the trailer, comes speeding in between us both. He wasn't shooting at us, I don't think. Right? But like, comes in between us. And then we were like, holy shit. And so we were going to drop back. And then we saw him like speeding and he was shooting like in front of the truck. We just kind of let him go and called the cops. But dude, it was a ch- like it was definitely a wake up, like a little bit of a like a a mind fuck. Yeah, because you hear about all the time, like oh, this someone got hit with a stray bullet or whatever the hell. This guy fired a full clip into the air while driving on the expressway. Broken tail light, fender hanging off. We didn't know what the fuck, but maybe he stole it. That's I don't very know. scary. That's a wild. That's wild. Yeah, man. I mean, we felt. We thought well, everyone, all three of us thought it was something with our car. That's how much we felt it coming. It was weird. I felt it from underneath the car. And Chris did too, and that's why he thought we were backfiring. Jesus. But dude, honestly, there's 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 not a big difference between this and this. No, I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Even if he was not even meaning to, you know, he was just shooting. Dude, could you imagine just getting just getting shot in the car while you're driving? No, that's fucked up. Bullet? That's fucked up. That's yeah. really fucked up. Hey, <laughs> so I'm glad to be sitting it's been here. A crime-filled week. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm in a terrible mood. My apartment got robbed. Uh, uh, thought it was kind of over it, but a bunch of stuff dealing with it this morning. In a miserable mood. You and I got into an argument before the show started. Would you call it an argument? I would call it an argument. You don't think that was an argument? No. No? No. Really? Yeah. All right. I don't think we really argued. Screw it, We then. were saying how we both felt, and then we just settled on something. I felt like we were passionately... I felt like we were arguing. No? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, debating? In my head, I wasn't arguing with you. I wasn't arguing with you. I wasn't like mad at you, but I felt that we had it was an escalated conversation. Let's put it that way. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Sure. I get what you mean. But I I didn't I didn't think we argued over anything. I didn't think so. No, no. I did I it was you know, pimp, stop with this AI shit. This is half the reason I'm in a bad mood. All AI? right. The, yeah, the do you, do you realize the entire industry? Do you, the entire writers industry is on strike right now because the they are demanding that this program not be used to create first drafts of scripts, which is exactly what I said was going to happen on this very podcast. I said, give it time, that will happen. And the industry has wholeheartedly said, that is non-negotiable. We will not negotiate that with you. Sure. So here we are. But what, 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 what and everybody AI, keeps... Fe- you know? What did you do? He keeps uh, feeding just, stuff uh, into it. Pulling up weird facts about each of the foods you're debating. Okay. Well, remember we used to use Google for that search engine, and we would uh, not ask a computer. I think that's a us. form of AI. Oh God, whole world's going to shit. Uh, it's over. We're doing cheese doodles or <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have cheese doodles. You try to keep popcorn. us on track here. What? I'm just. I was about to do something <laughs> about the cheese doodle. How uh, did cheese doodle get its name? Okay, because I'm doing cheese doodles. I thought maybe you were going to ask me about how why I'm having a hard time this week. I thought you were maybe going to ask me how my I'm doing, my week. I thought you didn't want to talk about it. It's been a hard week. Yeah, I thought. Sometimes you didn't we want to... say we don't want to talk about it when we need to talk about talk it. Oh well, let's talk about it. Well, now now it's now I've had to say it, so now I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought you've had enough of talking about it. Uh, I don't know. It's just so crazy. I don't know. Do you ever? You never just felt like the world's over. <laughs> like that's kind I've of been a robbed. Wrap. My house has been robbed. But, I mean, my ha- now, look, people have been worse than robbed. People have been robbed worse than me. Yeah, you don't have to say that. There's no caveats needed. Your house got robbed. But my so point right. is, is you know, I'm talking about getting robbed. You're talking about a guy driving down the road in Denver shooting a gun out the window for no apparent reason. Yeah. Pimps feeding an AI engine that the industry is 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 uh, about to use as the primary means to create a writer's room from now on. Okay. 
Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we at? It's What's beautiful, going on? It's a beautiful day, though. It's sunny a little and, too hot to be honest. In the 70s. It's already a little too hot. <laughs> uh, you know, but I mean, yeah, I guess cheese. There's still cheese doodles at the end of the day. I'll tell you, it would be great if your uh, burglar had just eaten cheese doodles before he robbed you. Yes, that would have been good. Fingerprints. Yes, and I think that's the only thing you're going to have against me today. <laughs> but anyway, I digress there. Well, uh, I got. Do I, you have anybody on the on the like? Do you have a lead? I can't. I don't think I can talk about any of that publicly. Okay. But okay. you know, yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's a weird uh, experience. You know. Yeah, uh, you never happened to you before. Anyone else broken into home? Both of you? This is more common than I realize. Uh, I will say this. I will say this. This doesn't give you hope. When two or three of, because when it happens, they the cops show up in waves. Like first, the two cops that get called to, by nine one one show up, and they're the ones that start the initial report. Then, usually, two more cops will show up. Like, hey, we got the call. Do you guys need any help? Then, the fingerprint duster person shows up. Then, the detectives show up. So. You're you're dealing with waves of law enforcement coming in. All did you get someone's card? I got a lot of cards and phone numbers. Yeah, yeah. But you're dealing with like the movies, you know. Like yeah. the guy pulls it out of his coat. He's like, <laughs> "Call me if you hear anything." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You uh, you get so you get waves of people coming in, and 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 with each wave that then they're brought up to speed on what's going on. Okay. And then they sort of give their input and their and their whatever right and you're like okay it does not help your spirits when two or three law enforcement officers independently of one another say to you it's getting worse and it's not going to get any better <laughs> like yeah like crime in new york is it's just you know and you're just going my god and then i was talking to a friend of mine yeah who comes to new york every few months for business and I was like, I don't know, man. It doesn't seem that. And, he, and he's like, dude, you know how much I love New York? I was like, yeah. And he goes, dude, I got to tell you, you're not, you don't see it because you live there. He's like, I am noticing. The, he goes, the decline is evident every time I come up. Like, it is noticeably wow. dropping off. That's not good. With the, it's terrible. It's terrible. You know? We never found the guy that robbed our place. Yeah. But we suspected it was a neighbor. Why? There was some. Ta there was some. Like uh, friction about over something stupid or something. I don't remember what it was at the time. Was it over cheese doodles? No, it was not. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, man. You know what do you? It's 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 you know it's it kind of sacks your soul a little bit. You're well, like, I was just talking to Chris about this about perspective. Seriously, and about yeah. about like it does. Who someone said the proverb? I think it was Gatto, where it was like um, it was a Chinese farmer. What was it? And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to apply the Chinese farmer proverb to, to Joe right now. Hey. Like, like so I'll, I'll bastardize it and make it my own. Your house got robbed, but what if the, a female cop came, you fell in love, that became your wife? That didn't happen. Right. <laughs> Touche. But my point is, is that you never know what comes out of each and everything. You know what I mean? In the proverb, there was a Chinese farmer. And what happened to him? Got a horse and then yeah. So the horse and then the horse ran away and he was like, "Oh my god!" Someone's like, "What are you gonna do? Your horse ran away. It's terrible." And he goes, "Maybe it's terrible." And the next day, the horse returned and there was two horses following it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then there was a second example right after that. It was a good one. And the um, son went on the horse and he broke his back and then oh, his the arm or day. leg or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then. then the army came in to the town and said, I'm going to We're ask. recruiting everyone has to be drafted, right. but not people that are hurt or injured. Yeah. So his son avoided the draft because yeah. he fell off the horse the day before. They thought it was broken arm was bad, but then he didn't have to go to war. Yeah. No, so it's... What I'm saying is... Yeah, some, it'd be nice if sometimes life could be like a made-up story <laughs> that people write... You're saying there was no Chinese woman with a horse? <laughs> I love that people wrote these things after a terrible thing happened. <laughs> And said, like, well, what if it was like this? You go, well, it wasn't, but that's nice. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'll go read a few Hallmark cards while I'm at it. <laughs> Try to think of the bright side of life. 
Uh, no, here's the takeaway. Here's the takeaway. You have a problem of will your meet- own floating around there where it's the exact opposite. Maybe I will meet the love of my life when I now move out of New York City because <laughs> I feel that I might have reached my limit. Well, think about that because that that getting robbed then is the impetus for a d- d- completely uh, change, a complete change in your whole entire trajectory. Uh, and you and and then anything that comes out of that change then would be a direct result of you getting robbed and saying I've had enough. So anything that comes out of that, if you moved now, anything that comes directly related to you not being here and being there forever is a direct response to you moving because of that. I absolutely have thought about that. I have thought about like even in just having to replace things that I owned that were stolen from me and replacing them, choosing to not replace certain things because you're like, you know what, man, as mad as I am that that was stolen from me, I don't need it. Okay. So like, and then there were things that I absolutely needed that I had to replace that I was like, I think I can replace this for a fraction of what I spent the first time around. Sure. Because fear caused me to spend this much extra on the computer because I didn't want to run out of whatever. And I was like, that was stupid. I didn't need to do that. So like little, little things like that. Absolutely big takeaways. Uh, I learned how to love sleeping on my couch. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, Why? Because I'm afraid to sleep in the bedroom. Why? Because you're just, you feel, I don't know, you're just freaked. You feel too isolated in there. Like, I'm like, I need to know what's going on in the entire apartment. Like, I can tell what's happening from From the living room. You can see every, I've learned to love that couch (laughs) 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 that I've been trying to replace with your help. Um, And also, funny enough, replacing the couch suddenly didn't seem that important anymore. You know, mm-hmm. and you saw the amount of text I was sending. Yes, I did. About trying to figure out the couch replacement. So maybe it gave you a little. I mean, I, I mean, you take a, not that it's still wish it didn't happen, but you could take away some silver linings from it. There's absolute silver linings, but I will say this, and uh, I don't want to put too fine a point on it, and then we can move on because it's not a. The po- I realize this podcast isn't a therapy session, but the fans are quite endearing, and they do show support. Well, it's really do have lovely. Any therapy. Uh, try BetterHelp.com. Yes, that's, putting in the promo code taste buds. I have better. <laughs> I will be talking to my better health yeah. therapist this yes. week about it. Uh, the the I don't want to say negative, but the immediate uh, uh, conundrum that it poses is, and I'm very serious when I say this, folks. Very proud that taste buds is sponsored by BetterHelp. I am a person that spends, uh, or at least I try to spend, a considerable amount of time working on myself every week. It's something that in the past I didn't do enough of, and I'm glad to be doing it now. And it doesn't matter when you figure out that you should do it. It's just that if you figure out you need to do it, that you do it. BetterHelp can help you do it. I am somebody that has benefited from therapy in the past, and I'm not just saying this. BetterHelp has been the easiest and best experience for me in that area of life. It is convenient. It is. I am able to reach my therapist, uh, and, and I'm given many options of times and uh, ways that I can set the sessions with my therapist. You can do phone, you can do chat, you can do video calls. It's incredibly convenient, it is incredibly affordable, it is incredibly easy. It's just an amazing thing. If you're thinking about trying therapy, give BetterHelp a try. This is the perfect service to allow you a a non-obstacle-laden way of doing this so you don't get disheartened by bureaucratic nonsense that might stand in your way. So find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TasteBuds today. You're going to get 10% off your first month. That's Better H-E-L-P, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash TasteBuds. Folks, let's talk about shoes. You know a fancy man like me and a fancy guy like Sal and a fancy man like Pimp and a fancy lady like V. We like our shoes around this place. And Vessi is making great shoes. Game changer shoes. All right? Now, uh, this is a life hack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share it with you. Uh, you know when your shoes get wet and soggy and cold and then you, and you have gross cold feet all day? Uh, Vessi shoes will literally prevent that. From ever happening again. Ever, ever, ever. I've tried the Vessi shoes. I have two pair. They do exactly what they say they're going to do. They're comfortable. They're convenient. They keep your feet dry and your feet warm through all the weather that changes and hits at the wrong time. I know we're coming out of winter now. 
Uh, but I got to tell you, New York is no stranger to rainstorms, and it's no stranger to surprise rainstorms. Vessi comes in handy with a stylish, waterproof shoe that is very comfortable that you can walk around in all day. 100% waterproof. Not water-resistant. Waterproof. Waterproof, warm, yet somehow lighter and more comfortable than boots. Go figure. And they slip on and off so it's quick and easy to get outside. People, I've said all you need to hear. Here's what I want you to do, all right? I want you to visit Vessi.com slash taste buds for your pair of Vessi shoes. Vessi.com slash taste buds. You're going to use the promo code taste buds and get 15% off your entire order. Plus free shipping in Canada, the U.S., Australia, Japan, some other places. That is Vessi.com. You're going to use, that is Vessi.com slash Taste Buds. You're going to use promo code Taste Buds for 15% off your entire order. Again, free shipping, Canada, U.S., Australia, New Zealand, Japan. Folks, Joe DeRosa here, taking the summer off from live dates. Why? I'll be around New York City. And where will I be hanging out? Well, you guessed it. I might be at Joey Rose's. And if you come through New York, I hope you come to Joey Rose's too. We're open seven days a week at 11.30 a.m. every day. And we go into the evening serving food and affordable drinks all day long. Go to joeyrosesnyc.com for all details or check us out up, Taste Buddies. I am on the road with the Impractical Jokers. We are halfway through the tour, adding dates all the time. So check out ImpracticalJokersLive.com. Uh, coming up next, May 5th and 6th, we are in West Valley City, Utah, and Denver, Colorado. May 19th, 20, and 21, Arlington, Texas, the Moody Center in Austin, and Sugarland, Texas. June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, Columbus, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and Detroit at the Fox. June 15, 16, 17, Minneapolis, Des Moines, and Kansas City. And then rounding out the last posted dates right now in July, we're coming to Nashville to play the Grand Ole Opry House, uh, the Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, and two at the Stifle Theater in St. Louis. Everything available at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. It has, there's a couple other things involved in this like that, that aren't related to the robbery uh, that I don't really want to speak to. But this is probably the fifth element, much like the hit. Shout out Chris Summer Tucker. sequel. Shout out, shout out Bruce Willis. Uh, much like the fifth element. Uh, the, the robbery is sort of the fourth or fifth element or ingredient in a stew of things that has made me question New York. Like, and like The concrete jungle where dreams are made? Yeah. Because my whole thing with New York was always, man, the payoff is always so great. You can make it here. You can make it anywhere. And uh, the payoff was always so great. You, the, the, the return on your investment. It was a hard city to live in. It was expensive. It was, you had to get, you know, a buddy of mine once said, you need to, you need to prep before you go outside. You need to get emotionally ready. Like, New York is not just walk out your front it's not door. not to be played with. Yeah, down, down a driveway and sure. get the mail leisurely with your cup of coffee. It's not that kind of place. So, and the connectivity in all of it is was a really great thing. This, again, is the fourth or fifth domino in a chain, but this, this, I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Domino, if, motherfucker. Yeah. Is that Ice Cube? Yes. Full circle. Full, yeah, full circle. Full circle. Um, I don't know. I just was like, I don't know if, it's, if the return is, is worth it anymore. Like, well, I don't. don't you need to live here for everything that you do? I've given that a lot of thought, and I'm like, I could, I can, I can drive in here once a week, you know? I can drive in here once. I could drive in here once a week and get a hotel room for two nights and still, and own a place somewhere else and still spend probably less money than I spend renting an apartment in New York. That's, that's what I mean. That's part of it. It's just like, what am I doing? I like, got something for you. Do you really? Mm hmm What do you mean? Yes, I do. <laughs> like, I have a vacant place at a really good price that's good and it's good for the money we could talk offline <laughs> you've if it's the place i'm thinking of you've quoted me the price and it was insane <laughs> no not my place oh okay my place you well at one point when you were thinking about moving you were like why don't you rent out this place and i said how much and you said a number that turned my pubic hair straight oh no that was the number to cover my costs. that wasn't even making a profit 
Um, no, not that. And it's a really good price. I, and I think it's less than you're paying now. Really? Yeah. But what are you paying now? This isn't good. This isn't good podcast. Nobody's going to hear it. Yeah. Well, that's funny you say that. Here's why. I bleep this. I want to say a funny thing. Okay. And bleep it if you have to, and you can tell me if you have to bleep it. Okay. This happening was the first thing that ever made me go, maybe I should move to Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I started thinking, I was like, I, I'm like, I could find a seclusion out there that I can't. I got, I, we'll talk after. All right. This, it's priced and ready to move. <laughs> no, it's, it's a friend of mine's uh, place. A uh, long-time friend. I wonder if it's the place I saw. All right, go ahead. All right, anyway. And you get a lot of amenities that you don't get. Uh, and you'll, you know, anyway, we'll talk about it later. All right, we'll talk about it online. And uh, as a real estate agent, I only take 3%. Anyhow. All right, I appreciate that. And I'm glad to hear we, we didn't get into an argument. I thought we got into an argument, but we didn't. Pim's saying we didn't. He's shaking his head no. I mean, if, if one of us doesn't think we did, this is not an I'm, argument. I, I'm, my brain is... It's it's we disagreed. It's a disaster. I mean, we right we now ended up, up somewhere. This is bad. I'm snapping a pimp about AI. I mean, you know, yeah. it's like this is why the writers room should be AI. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> let's battle. Because I guess I don't. I didn't snap at you, V. Right? You didn't. All right. Kind. Pimp, I'm sorry. I snapped at you. I love you, but I don't care. I love you, no matter what happens. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I usually don't think it's hot in here, and it's hot. In here. I know. We got to do something about this because it's only going to get hotter. Yeah. Well, why don't you open the door, and if the fans don't like it, they can comment they don't like it. Open the door, maybe. Well, you want no, me no, to do no, it? Please, Scott, it. sit. Um, let me think about this. Uh, but the air should be on in this building, or maybe it's not on yet. There's no way that air is on. It feels very cold in the other room, doesn't it? Oh, you asked? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. Do you want to do a chant? Whatever you want. Do you want to do a salty or? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Uh, well, because I got enough aggravation in me right now that a salty might really kick this into into high gear. In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> it's, it might just it might just spike the energy. <laughs> what I, I mean, I'm 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 using your cues right now. No, don't just use my cues. I mean, thank you. For using my cues, yeah. But use your cues too. Okay. All right. I wouldn't mind a salty. Okay. I think it'll get us laughing. Okay. And I think we've had enough heart to heart. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. Ready? Yeah. You insult me first. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get, get salty. salty. It's time, time to get salty. salty. It's time, time to get salty. I don't think I'm in a position to insult you today. <laughs> no, that no, you can't do that. Well, it's annoying that I can't do that because you have to control the narrative all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see insulting you today. I'm sorry. Why? Because of everything we've established. Fuck you. It's time to get salty. It's, it's time, time to get, get salty. salty. It's time, time to get salty. salty. Yeah. I don't know. Out there, I thought you overthought that. Okay. And I, I don't think it's that big a deal. And uh, I, and the advice I'm giving to you, I should actually take myself but uh, as well, and I will. But I really think it's just like, uh, I think we, I think sometimes... I'm very guilty of it. We overthink things. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's not really an insult, but a fair criticism. Sure. All right. Ready? <laughs> yeah. I watch him like, you're a <laughs> cock-sucking pig, motherfucker. Is... <laughs> no. I, all right. Ready? That'd be funny if you go really hard. All right. Ready? <laughs> it's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. I won't go really hard, but I will tell you this. I showed up. You and Chris were still going. You were running late on the episode. Immediately. I texted Pimp. I said, I'm here. He goes, they're still going. I wrote, Jesus Christ Almighty, I'm in no fucking mood. <laughs> <laughs> I figured because his Pimp was shaking the phone for a while. I mean, we're just trying to find an out. An out. Uh, so, uh, you know what? I, I, yeah. I did overthink and you overthink. So I got mad when you were telling me I was overthinking. Because you overthink too and we both overthink. Okay. I think we both overthink. And we both do it in different ways and at different times about different things. And then we don't, it's hard for us to recognize or have empathy when the other guy is overthinking. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. I yeah. think that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think. I also think, 
your 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 <laughs> All right, clearly the mood's turning. I just got lightheaded. I just I laughed so hard I just got lightheaded. You're, That's a problem, right? Because that happens to me a lot. That happens doesn't happen to, to you, time. right? You don't laugh and get lightheaded. It's when did it start happening for you? Most of my adult life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It'll it's not good. When I laugh that hard and wheeze, I, I, I get I like get a blackout, like a brownout. Uh all right. So what were you laughing at? I was gonna say <laughs> that uh, that I don't know how to word it. I don't know how to word it, and the only wording coming into my head is too mean, and I don't mean it this mean, <laughs> so I don't want to say it because okay. it's gonna be sound. It's gonna come out meaner than I mean for it to mean. But it was funny. It was funny. It was funny. Okay. It was about how you tap out. Okay. You you got a thing that you do where you'll go like okay whatever. And you, it's a strategy that I can't quite figure out. It's something underhanded about it. I assure you it's <laughs> you, not. You mask it as being amicable, but I'm like, no, there's, he's up to something. Yeah. That's you <laughs> overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, I don't care. I'm letting it go. And that's the end of it. Uh, all right, dude. I, and you know what? And just for the hell of it. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. That's the first ever double chant in an episode ever. That's right. First time here. Time to B A T T L E Buds. All right, here we go. You got Cheetos, or sorry, cheese Easy. doodles. Yes. I got popcorn. And the reason I said Cheetos is because Cheetos are the only. Passable form of a cheese doodle. It's funny you say that. They are the only, not just che only it's brand. It's not a cheese doodle. Cheeto is not a cheese doodle. I mean, is cheese doodle the big puffy curls? Yes, it is. They they are shit. You can't those say things. that's that's uh, that's shit. that's a uh, proprietary. The doodle means it's one of those those circular things. Now I don't think so. I actually think the cheese doodle is like Staten Island, like the Forgotten Borough. The cheese doodle is like the dark horse. The cheese doodle is never in the conversation, but should be. It's always there, right below, just waiting to pounce. You know, Pre pretzels and potatoes are the big dogs. Popcorn comes in, might be another big dog. Top three right there. Then you have all the different things that fall underneath it that people get on occasion or this or that. And cheese doodle is not guaranteed. Cheese doodle is not guaranteed at a party. A cheese doodle is not even guaranteed as the cheese snack because Cheetos exist, and they took away the essence of the doodle and they made it into something else. The I, since I was a child, have appreciated cheese doodles, and that feeling has not left me. Now, there's a couple things that people will say that they don't like about cheese doodles, and I think that if you embrace the doodle, those things are actually kind of okay. Okay. I know that the dusty fingers is the big thing. Okay, and I don't like them either, but you could lick them and then you wash your hands. I don't find the doodle leaves, strangely, I don't find that the doodle leaves as bad a dusty finger as the Cheeto. Correct. I find the Cheeto's dusty fingerprints to be, quite honestly, one of the perks. There's nothing like the finger lick of, of the Cheetos. Okay, that's what but, I was kind of just saying. So cheese doodles not leaving that is actually a detriment to it. And it's strange that it doesn't leave it because cheese doodles, I was going to say, as you eat them, turn to compacted dust in your mouth. I love that. They get so stuck in your teeth. Yeah. They disintegrate as you're eating them. I love it. I hate it. I think it's like it's it's like eating rotten styrofoam that has cheese flavor in it. I like that you could put it in your mouth and then just feel it melt down to nothing. I hate it. Or just take the bite immediately and get that crunch. I hate it. I actually like... That it's puffed and then it transitions to not being puffed. It's like Hate it. something's happening in the mouth. You know what Hate I'm saying? It. Hate it. I also like the fact that I don't mind it when I mean it depends. You can eat a cheese doodle in a way that will combat having to go like this and get it out of you. Can eat it in a in a way that won't How? do that. What way? Well, you don't. What you way? chew them and you just put them in and let them melt and swallow it. You don't chew. This is that's bad shit, Sal. <laughs> no, it's true. You, you do that you and that's put also, it on your tongue also, like Holy Communion. You let also, it melt. Yes, yes, exactly right. Exactly right, and it, it just like just like the body of Christ. It's like a cheesy body of Christ, bro. The cheese doodle is a cheesy body of Christ. Prove me wrong. Okay, but 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 I like that you can do that with it. You can't do that with a pretzel. You can't do that with a chip. You know. I I don't like that. I don't like. I don't trust a food that changes. It, it's it it's matter. It's it's the matter of it changes. 
by nothing. Like it, it's just like the mere fact that it sits touching a minimal amount of saliva, the form of the food itself changes. Like I think that's weird. Now, obviously, I, I realize that almost any food eventually would do that, but it is so fast. Well, you mentioned styrofoam. I mean, popcorn is the closest textural thing to styrofoam. That's, that's fair. That's a food that I've ever tasted. That's fair. And, and styrofoam isn't the best, wasn't the right thing. The cheese dude, the reason I said styrofoam is because, you know, packing peanuts always make you think of like the, sure, the sure, cheese. Sure, sure, sure. But popcorn, let me just hit you with all of the, just all, every attribute of we popcorn. Should, we probably should have just put butter popcorn in there because now it's the specific cheese doodle versus every single type of popcorn you could I'll ever have. I'll stick with... No, but according to the polls, though, they, know, they're the reading voters, it as popcorn in any form versus the cheese doodle. I didn't I didn't think of that, and you're right, yeah. they will, but but I'll stick to butter popcorn. Because people argument. are going to go, I mean, caramel, cheese, I know. butter, can't this, that, I know. The other. and then it's like, no, it was kind of butter popcorn. I'll stick to butter popcorn. Let me hit you with... So I'm losing this one. Let me hit you with the... Good. You deserve to. You've won so put, many cheaply in the past. If we put butter past. popcorn. I wonder if I, I back out and just repoll it right now as butter you popcorn. Know what this, you know what this season is with your losses? It's penance for the first season. Where all and the second? All the people that, that voted for you early on because they knew what food you were picking, and they just went with you because they liked you. What about the second and year? And now they've seen who you really are, and the justice is being served... <laughs> And the, I the like the third that. year. In the third year. So the first and the second year they, they did takes a minute. Okay. It takes took, a minute. So I got it. Look how long it took for us to become really good friends. About three years. It takes about three years for me to really grow on somebody. Okay. And then once I'm in, they can't get enough. All right. So it took about a hundred, hundred and twenty episodes. Think about how much I annoy you. I annoy you. I would I would beg to You mean when you say you, you mean you. The royal? You. Sal. How much you annoy? Sammy. I would I would say I probably annoy you more than any other friend you have. Why would you say that? Because I've seen it happen, and I've just I I would just be willing to bet I have a quality that I'm good at it. I just not to annoy people. I would say I annoy you no, like more than most people you know. Yet I didn't. Say yet that. I'm still top list for invite to whatever's <laughs> happening. That's the effect I got. A, I, I got people. a thought re reflecting on all this. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. Why do I keep having you around? <laughs> I still will get grief and guilt if I can't make it. If I got to cancel, you'll be like, come on. There are times I'm sitting there going, what is this guy even? I don't understand. <laughs> well, being a friend. <laughs> no, I'm saying I would understand if I was giving him crap. This is all directed at me. The uh, Here's my point. Uh, popcorn. Let's hit you with the popcorn attributes. Okay, number one. Z so low in calories, amazing! It is a snack you can eat. You can now. Eat. You are talking about air popped, untouched popcorn, not anything with butter. Even on if it, you so. pop, even if you pop an oil, it's still very low calorie. Uh, it's it's not it's not high cal calorie. Air pop is easy to come by. Uh, you know, you put some salt on it. You can put real butter on it if you want. Uh, I mean, look, nothing obviously tastes better than the movie butter serum, whatever the hell that stuff is it's nowhere near butter it tastes amazing i know that that's bad for you but popcorn as a whole popcorn is the snack i started eating when uh i started eating it about a year or two ago because ari shafir said to me i eat popcorn every night and i said why and he said because it's something you can eat as a snack it's crunchy there's a lot of it you can keep going back to it it fills you up enough, and he goes, it's just perfect for sitting on the couch. And I was like, holy shit, you're right. You can eat, like, two cups of popcorn. It's like 175 calories if you don't put butter on it. I don't put butter on mine. I go salted. That's it. I do straight-up salted microwave popcorn. I got the thing. I got the, the canister, and I put the seeds in, and or the kernels in, and I pop it. Now, cheese doodles. What do you, what, how many? Five? Five? To no, great those no, calories? you'd be surprised. You get a good amount too for the serving size. I bet Hit me you with get, some calories. I bet please. you for a per serving, you could eat like fifteen to twenty puffs, and they're big. Fifteen to well, at least I think they're going to tell you in grams. But let me explain something to you about all the things I hate about popcorn. Number one, you talked about styrofoam. I don't like the consistency of popcorn. Okay, that's number one. I sometimes you sometimes you know when you're eating popcorn and you actually like hear that like squeak. 
because you're biting it and it almost is like you're biting styrofoam when you it. hear that squeak. I, I hate it. that. Number two, you talk about going like this in your teeth. Popcorn is the number one offender of that. I mean, I, I've never eaten popcorn where an hour later I wasn't like, God damn it, and I'm trying to get this fucking flaky from the seed you get, out of my you get a sh you get the You get a layer of kernel in between your teeth sometimes. A floss will knock out in two seconds. Yeah, but, but I'm not you do not. Every time I'm eating popcorn. You are, your teeth are not compacted with junk after you eat cheese doodles. The in, dude, while you're still enjoying them, you're cleaning your teeth. Well, I'll put it to you this way: since I'm, it's going to be used against me that you have every flavor of popcorn in this battle, then I'll just apply it there. If you have cheese dusted popcorn, you're dealing with the exact same thing as the cheese doodle. You're going to have it on no, your fingers. No, you're have shit all over your teeth. No, no, no. You, no, cheese popcorn does not compact in your teeth the way cheese doodles does. Because of the vehicle itself. The vehicle for cheese popcorn is still popcorn. The vehicle for cheese doodle is the doodle. And the doodle is the problem. Not to mention, you got a God knows what cheese on that thing. I'm talking about movie butter not being real. You're not, there's not a speck of real cheese in that cheese well, doodle. Well, I mean, anything you ever add to the popcorn that you'd. You're, I'm not one, adding. I'm arguing I know, but butter it's popcorn. your version. But if, if, if but if all versions are in the argument, which they're going to be because we just put popcorn, then I could I should be able to use those other versions. But they're not because you. I'm not. Ar it doesn't matter. They're going to vote the way they vote. But I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. But the people are voting in this. That's respect. fine. But but my point is this. No, and and you're wrong. Candy corn. There's there. It's it's caramel. It's it's there. There's something. There's some. There's some semblance of a real ingredient there as part. Of, dude, cheese dust on a cheese doodle is the most manufactured food stuff on planet Earth. It's like there. It is like that is like a go to any dietitian would be like. But never ingest this ever. But any any single popcorn that's not air pop with nothing on it is the same exact defense. I disagree. How so? Caramel. Cheese. No, I no no no. I'm, I'm I'll give you the cheese one. Kettle sweet. I'm saying, no, dude. That's like it's like that's like the caramel pop. I pro look it up. I promise you, caramel popcorn has fewer and more real ingredients than cheese doodles do. I think that you, they just probably have some some cheese powder on there, and you're going oh, it's, you're going way too far the other way. I want to know what what makes up cheese powder. Folks, do you got subscriptions that you forget about? I know I do. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hope this podcast isn't one of them. How dare you? It's free. Okay, listen. Rocket Money is going to help you keep track of those subscriptions you're paying for, and it's going to put it all in one place for you. It's going to keep you up to date so you know what you're spending every month on subscriptions, okay? Uh, I have found it very tricky over the past few years with our lives becoming more and more subscription-based and how to keep track of all of it. The other issue is you're subscribing to things in different uh, through different platforms. Maybe you subscribe through the App Store or on, on, on your Apple or your, or your uh, uh, Android device. Maybe you do it in Google. Whatever it is, the point is, is it's hard to keep track of all of it, and Rocket Money is going to help you do that. Also, you're going to get to try it free for 30 days. Okay? How about that? Rocket Money, personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions. You got to tell it to cancel. It won't just cancel it, but you know, you know how that goes. It monitors your spending and helps you lower your bills. It's all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forget about. And chances are you're one of those 80%. Why? Because that's the majority of people. Rocket Money, quickly and easily finding those subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, you just hit cancel, and it's done. It's that easy. Anyway, stop throwing your money away. Cancel the unwanted subscriptions. Manage your expenses the easy way. Go to rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. Rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. That's rocketmoney.com slash taste buds. Nuts.com. Loving nuts.com. What is nuts.com? Well, they're your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruit, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers and more. What a wide selection. It means there's something out there for everyone at nuts.com. Uh, I, I like what they're doing. They got plenty of gluten-free options. They've got organic choices. They've got other diet-friendly products. Whether you're looking for something sweet and savory or you just need to stock up on every day, cooking essentials, as I said, you're bound to find something to try. You can shop a la carte at any time or opt into the hassle-free auto deliveries so you never run out of your favorite items. I have a bunch of stuff from Nuts.com. I have a really delicious trail mix. I have some uh, dried mango. I have uh, some almonds. Uh, I have some 
uh, uh, chocolatey, uh, chocolatey something, dark chocolatey something or others. They're very delicious. Uh, <laughs> they, I, I like this because I'm somebody that does like to snack at the end of the day, and it's hard to find a snack that isn't bad for you. Uh, and for me, nuts.com is a really easy way to locate that snack. And by the way, find it without any of the bad stuff in it. Uh, you know, like I, you know, sometimes you go to the store, you try to buy trail mix, but everything's got sugar. You don't want the sugar, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, if you're like me, nuts.com is for you. So they're offering new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com slash taste buds. So check out all the delicious options at nuts.com slash taste buds. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com slash taste buds. It's nothing. It's the shit in the packet inside the mac and cheese box that doesn't need to be refrigerated. It's cheese. She just hit it. She just hit it on that. It's cheese that doesn't need to be refrigerated, dude. That's your first tip right there. It's cheese that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Sure, but no, I mean, not sure. It's crazy. But it's the same thing with cheese popcorn. Stop. I'm not arguing cheese popcorn. But it is because you're arguing for popcorn. I'm not. No, no, no. You're doing well, a cheese no, no, thing no, no. right you, now. No, I'm not. No, no. You, you, you're going to give me your defense, but it's not the way people are going to be weighing but in. But we're not. Listen, I said I will give you cheese popcorn, but I'm not arguing cheese popcorn. I'm saying popcorn. I, I'm not arguing popcorn. I'm arguing the the worst part of your food. Okay, so I'll continue. It's, it's a horrible thing. I have options to make mine better. I have other flavors to make mine better or healthier. You have no option. Your cheese doodle is always the worst thing well, possible. Well, you can do a DIY at home, but cheese doodles themselves are sold with t tons of options. You just pulled up 10 flavors. But I'm saying the basis is always che the cheese dust, which is one of the worst things you could ever put in your body. Y if Period. we're talking about nutrition... Fine, but if we're just talking about the eating experience of it, the texture and the taste, I'm taking cheese doodles all the time with popcorn. I don't like popcorn. Way, As a matter of fact, popcorn is one of the very few foods that if I eat it, I will be tasting and burping up popcorn definitely for the rest of the day, what? if not the next day. Popcorn, I you taste popcorn like eight hours later. You're like, oh, yeah, I forgot I had popcorn. What? Only. It's the lightest? You don't ever, ever, <laughs> you don't ever, never. hours later, be like, oh, I just, oh, I taste popcorn. Literally never. It is the lightest, fluffiest. You eat it. You're like, I almost didn't eat anything. <laughs> like, it's, there's That's another thing. When you buy a bag no room, there's of hardly any in it. And here's the thing I hate, though. What about this? Wait, make whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. When you buy a bag of what, there's hardly any what. Like, you what? buy, like, a small bag of, like, uh, popcorn? I, I, it's like a fistful. I've never bought popcorn in a, it's like, snack bag. So well, it I exists. Couldn't, I couldn't speak to it. Yeah. Okay. So here's the other thing, making them at home, right? You can't make mine at home. You make yours at home? Yeah. I mean, come on, with the, how many of them don't pop? I Funny. mean, there's, there's you like know what you're doing? 10, 15% if that you know don't what pop you're at the bottom, if no matter you know what, what you you're do. doing, they all pop. If you're using a machine, if you're doing it on the stove, they just don't pop. Uh, I, I, get a, I have a high pop ratio because there's a learning curve, but I've learned how to do it. I will give you hot, just made popcorn. I. That's, I mean, I, I, hot brings something to the table for me. But even so, there's been bowls of popcorn in front of me on the couch, at whatever, and I, people are eating the popcorn, eating the popcorn. It's the big bowl. It's the only thing out. I won't eat popcorn. I understand. It's but It's just I not, it's just, it takes over your whole mouth. It's just so like. Oh, this is a weak I, argument. I feel popcorn. I taste and burp and feel popcorn for hours after that's, that. That's that's I don't buy. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I'm I, not lying to you. I don't. I just. I. I don't. I just could never. I could. I. If you put a gun to my head right now and you said, "Think of a a food that sticks with you less and repeats less than popcorn," I would be hard pressed. Well, for to me, popcorn's at one at top of that list. I would be hard pressed. By the way, did you say a minute ago you could make cheese doodles at home? I said you can't. You can make popcorn. Okay, since okay. You can. Let's talk about that and how many times that they just leave. And then what about when you when you go into the bowl, right? And you scoop them in your mouth, and you don't realize you've got an unpopped kernel in, and you bite down on that. That's a real son of a bitch. I mean, <laughs> that's I can't. I can't tell you that I remember that ever happening to me, but I, I'm sure it has. If they sold buckets of cheese doodles at the movies. Right, I think people would buy the bucket of cheese doodles. Dead. The country, More nobody would have a job. No, the movie you can't popcorn exist they dump like that. They dump, they dump a cup full of uh, hydrogenated oil. It's fake. still, it's still, it's, it's no that butter still is, lighter that butter is than hot, cheese doodles. Highway to a heart attack. Did you see the ingredients? By the way, here's what I mean. 
Caramel popcorn ingredients. Popcorn, brown sugar, corn syrup, butter, vanilla extract, baking soda. Boom, out the door. Give me cheese doodle ingredients. What was that? Like a make it a home recipe, though? Yeah, look at the side of a bag. All right, well, let's look, let's look at the side of bags. Yeah, like look at that. All right, cheese doodles. Cornmeal, whey, salt, cornstarch, corn flour, a lot of corns, cornmeal, calcium carbonate, buttermilk, cheddar cheese. Huh. All right. Well, it looks like it cuts off. There's an ellipsis there. But, uh, I mean, without a doubt, there's, uh, there's artificial coloring in there. I got to say, it's, it's, I got to say, it's way better ingredients See, than I 23 thought. pieces. See, and I said, I said 15 to 19. Okay, 23 pieces is 150 calories. How much popcorn is 150 calories? <laughs> Probably a cup and a half, maybe? And uh, yeah, we're not going to not gonna be able to understand this. You're going to be well, doing you conversion change, metrics? No, no, no. You can change the quantity. There's a drop down. Oh, menu. 28 grams. It's the same. One ounce. It's one ounce. One ounce is one ounce. Okay. So I don't know how much popcorn that is, but... One ounce. So, pimp, how many cup? How many cups are in an ounce of popcorn? Four to five cups of popcorn contains 150 calories. That's wild, dude. So another thing about the popcorn, right? That is because wild. it's let's let's talk about something that you said is a bonus that I think can be made into a negative. You said it's light. You can keep eating it. It's the food that crunches. Uh, you just keep eating it. Keep eating it. It eventually fills you up. The keep eating it part is what I've seen is a is a big problem with popcorn because people. The way they sell that in the movie theater and the way people pop a whole bag into a bowl, that's a salad bowl this big and puts it you just keep eating it until it's done. I, I, I've never seen people stop eating popcorn. I stop all the time done. in the movies. I, I don't see it. I, I get my And fill. I think popcorn inherently has that issue that people eat it until you, get, you nearly get sick of it. I get You're my like, fill. what am I doing? Oh, I can't believe I'm still eating this. Oh, God, I finished the whole fucking bag. I get my fill. I mean, dude. I mean, by the way, speaking of the movies, we're talking about, I mean, this is it, dude. This is the entertainment snack, period. Popcorn. Dude, they don't sell cheese doodles. You said earlier, what if they put them in a big bucket? They don't even sell them in a little bucket. They don't sell them in a little packet. They're not. They're nowhere to be found at a movie theater. Nowhere to be found. You're going up against the, I mean, this is America's It's the snack. ultimate movie snack, but it's not because it's good. It's because it could. It they can make it. They can. It's like they're making it fresh for you and hot there, and it smells and it's hot, and so it sells well. It's, in that kind of environment. It's the number one carnival snack. It's like you no. can buy from vendors in the park. Popcorn, I don't think is the number one carnival snack. You, dude, you, you. Popcorn is. It's Americana. It's warm. It's fluffy. It's. It's. God, you see somebody walking around with the bag. You're like, ah. I just think it's so overrated. It really is there, overrated. I am telling you, the the low calorie count is is one of the reasons they sell that in the movies. Is because you can sit there and eat it for two hours and go, I ingested 150 calories. I do not think that they are thinking about calorie intake when they decided to put popcorn in the movies i think that's oh, i think at one point that that by the way it's the most ancient treat on earth uh po archaeologists have found popcorn fossils this thing has been i mean we've been what? running it forever and also people back in the day had bad teeth and they still managed to get it down <laughs> mobile popcorn cart in the 1880s all right yeah i mean look we said popcorn we didn't say butter but honestly i would probably still lose to butter popcorn but I mean, everything in the comments is going. Everything is going to be like, let me say, one puffy cheese right, doodle that's the same flavor, or this, this, all this, right, this. But, but you're, but you've made that point. Like, why do you keep going back to it? I mean, what are well, you going to do? Because, because, that's where that's going to be my that's Billy Mumphrey's downfall. But I mean, it's it's you know, I I would focus on making a stronger argument for your food. Wow, strawberry would. cheese doodles in Japan? Of strawberry doodles or strawberry cheese doodles? Uh. You know that actually that is what the the cheese doodle re cheese. reminds me of is the is is like the what are those wafers called that come in vanilla chocolate strawberry oh, yeah the wafers are they just called wafers I think they're probably like cookie wafers not Nella wafers because those are cookies no I know what you mean yeah no no we're, we're um, yeah I, they're wafers yeah yeah I love those I like those too. Oh, you want to you want to take but that to another level? I like those. Check out Quadratini's. 
What's quadratinis? Sugar wafers. That's what sugar wafers. Pull, pull up quadratinis. Good luck spelling it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there they are. Good job, baby. They oh, are. Yeah, I've had these. They are the Italian yeah, brand. Yeah, they're of, very good. They're Ooh. very, very good. They're very, very good. Uh, for some reason, I like it in that form. I don't like it in the doodle form. The doodle form, it bothers me. And that maybe because you eat less of these. They're going to say it's for kids. And look, uh, did I have more cheese doodles as a kid per capita than I do today? Of course. I think I've had more snacks all around than I do today. But I'm not going to relegate cheese doodles for, as a kid food. I'm not going to have them say, uh, any adult that's eating cheese doodles is a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, ah, cheese doodles. If I was five, this is the this is what we're gonna hear on the phones here. You know? Let's start. And I'm let's saying, start I'm to saying, predict. I'm saying, let's let. Why can't we have cheese doodles? Why are cheese doodles exclusively for kids? Because they, they suck, and a child thinks they taste good. I didn't even like them as a kid. I had Cheetos first, and when I was introduced to cheese doodles, I was like, these are like bad Cheetos. Like these, this is the doodle Cheeto, came before the Cheeto. I know. I'm saying I had Cheetos first. Yeah. And then I had cheese doodles, and I was like, this is a shittier version of the cheese. Look, the Cheeto took the idea of the cheese doodle. They go, let's fix everything wrong with this thing. We're going to give you more cheese dust. We're going to give you a crunch. They're not going to disintegrate as they sit on your tongue. We're going to take... they do. They disintegrate. Dude. All they did was change the shape. That's all they did. No, that's not true, Sal. Cr Cheetos have a crunch that cheese doodles because right, they change the have. shape to that, like... To well, they, they're harder, too, though. Yeah. They're They're... It's the, the the consistency. Well, I, yeah, that's that's what I, that's what I mean when I say they changed. Uh, yeah, well, that's a huge change. But what you're the final result that you're swallowing is very similar. I and you like Cheetos? Can tell you right now if there's I not, there's not that big. If of you a offered line. me a bag of Cheetos, I'd leap at them. If you offered me a bag of cheese doodles, I'd say no, thank you. The marketing. Guy. The way you're saying with uh, pit, uh, popcorn. I've been to parties where there's bowls of cheese doodles out. I think it's. I I don't want to even go near them. I think they are a waste of a snack. They're a waste of calories. Okay. They're an absolute waste of calories. They don't okay. taste great. The consistency sucks. Uh, and cheat. I'm like, this is this is a bad. I, I feel that w the same way about like, like when you have a good sour cream and onion chip. It's, you know what? Here's a better example. There's Doritos, and there's everything else. There's the there's a million other nacho cheese chips out there. Corn chips, they suck. Doritos are king chip. So what is it comparing that to? Cheetos are the king version of this, and then everything else is so secondary. Yeah, I, I think it's not the exact it. same thing. But let me just say one more thing about the popcorn, which I, which is like the the nail in the coffin for me. We talked about it getting in the teeth. What about one of those stupid little brown outer friggin' seed flakes kernels get stuck to the top back roof of your mouth? I knew you're gonna bring up this hacky argument. Hacky, it's yeah. the worst feeling. You have to go, <laughs> and then you have to put your finger in the back of your throat and yeah. like just an swipe around where the fucking thing. Interesting hangs. observation. I've never heard this before. Why don't you do write it as a closer? Are you seriously? You <laughs> never heard of that? Bit. I'm no, I'm dead. I'm not serious. I'm being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not talking about it like it's a closing bit. I mean, I'm like, just saying it's such a. Yeah, we know. We're all aware. We but know. We're, we, but we're we, talking about that's everything. That's like that's like arguing ice cream headache. It's like we're aware of it. Well, we're, that's we're, like we're arguing cheese on your fingers. I didn't argue cheese on your fingers. Did you hear me argue it? You didn't. Well, you brought it up. No, I didn't. I said I think it's a bonus. Right. I did quite the opposite because I'm an. I'm. An, well, I'm interested. Are you saying not to bring up a point? No, I'm saying. It's 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 That's such an obvious feeling. it's such and an obvious argument. Sometimes you can't argument. get it. You just can't get it. Yeah, I, it's 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 it couldn't be less of a deterrent. Oh, for me. for me, that makes me hate popcorn. I want to fight it. Couldn't be less of a deterrent. It's like saying I won't drink a Slurpee because of the because I'll get the brain freeze. I don't care. Nah, you can control. I know the brain what I, I know. You can't I know control what I mean. if the kernel's getting stuck to the roof you, of your mouth. You can control brain freeze. You got a delicious Slurpee in front of you. It's a hot summer day. You some can of us control have, brain some freeze. Some have a little bit of. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can't even Willpower. get the popcorn down and, and chewed up Will enough <laughs> that yeah. you're not choking on it. You just another thing. You choke on popcorn. Uh, you don't choke on choke on cheese doodles. All right, let's go to the phones. I go for popcorn, although it's a death trap. <laughs> popcorn is only good fresh and hot. And that's it. That's true. You have a stale popcorn. Uh, yeah. Do you ever have stale cheese doodles? No, what but are we popcorn talking about stale here. Stale quick. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Leave popcorn out for a day. Have it the next day. You're eating styrofoam <laughs> container cubes. That's funny. The fuck is a cheese doodle? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a few people say that. That's very funny. I don't get that. 
Cheese doodle sounds like a term for getting touched inappropriately at the <laughs> fair. You don't see cheese doodles at the front of every movie either. Just saying thank you. Joe has to be cheese doodles because it's PA based. No. Ooh. I had to Google cheese doodle because what well the done. F is that? How do you not know what a cheese doodle is, bro? Cheese doodles like a cheat. There's wow, no cheese doodles in Canada. Knows. Canada, they yeah, don't know what it is. I swear to God, if whoever chose cheese doodle tries to argue that the messy fingers is a positive thing, I'm going to off myself. I argued against <laughs> it, but I said it was positive. <laughs> cheese doodles because I'd rather have cheesy covered fingers uh, than those fucking pieces of stale popcorn in my teeth, and there's no lingering burnt popcorn smelling up in the house for days like you're some, oh, some oh, stop I hate it. that too. Burnt hate- popcorn smell for days. Stop it. No, you know. You, if That's you're, ridiculous. If you live in a building, you know when your neighbor's making oh, popcorn. stop if it. If I come into your apartment, I know that you made popcorn. I don't like smelling popcorn for the rest of the day, and I don't like my clothes smelling like popcorn. Stop None it. None of that happens with the doodle. Uh, I can't believe you like food. Very Down south, I had to Google cheese doodle. Nobody knows what cheese doodles are. Uh, well, I said you could take Cheeto. You said no. Popcorn is just so much more versatile. By the way, that's the first time somebody has made this yes. argument. You said everybody was going to say nobody. Nobody. I should have said every because everyone doesn't know what a cheese doodle is. They caught up on that. There's ten things already. What I mean, excuses, I excuses, said excuses. excuses. I should have said Cheetos. You said you Just didn't want like to do brand peach pie. I should have said peach cobbler. That was episode three. <laughs> you didn't. You said you didn't want to go brand against popcorn. I, you know, uh, I said popcorn. You don't specify on puffy on crunchy cheese doodles. Uh, if is cheese doodle an old person thing? White cheddar defeats all. Do they sell cheese doodles at a movie theater? No, thank you very much. All right, let's uh, <sighs> let's give the win. Getting the inner piece of popcorn stuck on your tooth and a- unable to remove it is probably how Sal feels debating <laughs> Joey D. Cheese doodle for the win, buddies. Right. Thank you, Molly Asher. Do you want to give Molly Asher the win? Let's give Molly Asher the win. We got to wrap this up because we got our all guest right. for the next episode. All right, ready. Let's go Bumble to pie. the phones. And uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's just a matter of is it in the ninety tens? Am I am I in single don't, digits? You don't know yet. Well, they don't know what cheese doodles are. All right, rela- relax. We got five thousand votes. Ready? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we knew popcorn was winning, but actually not as bad as I thought. Seventy-seven percent popcorn to twenty-three percent cheese doodle. And I do believe if we said butter popcorn, it would be a little less. Do you smell that? It's burnt. It's not burnt popcorn. It's a comeback, bitch. You're talking trash in year three? I still love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds. Man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking.